How's it going guys? It's Cam here. So it's been a little while. It's been it's been probably five weeks since I uploaded a video. Um, there, there's a couple things that are going into that. Mainly it's just so f hot in Arizona right now. I just have no motivation to even step outside. Um, then we did finally, we finally have the Mustang running. It wasn't running for about four and a half months. It is finally running now. It's on a bass tune. I'll make sure to get you guys a cold start later on here. That being said, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bittersweet upload today. I think you guys will have a pretty good idea of what's going on after we head to the store. Some of you might notice that I did the whole daily and uh, race car thing backwards. Lol. <laughs> this one's a manual, the daily, and my race car is not. Well, race car. So here's all the materials we grabbed. Some packing paper, some tape, spray cleaner, and an actual packing box. So, you know what that means. IS250, get out of here, bro. This needs to get shipped out to its new owner. So off a of first glance, you might notice that that's all not going to fit in this box. So we're probably gonna have to ship it out in two boxes. I bought this extra box. We're not gonna reuse that box because it's kind of torn apart. We'll just get a new one and get it packaged at the UPS store. Um, some of the more important things I'm gonna pack myself in here just to make sure that some of the smaller parts are not lost in shipping. So a lot of this kit is absolutely filthy from disassembly just because I got a lot of oil on it. Um, this was right by the power steering, so I just it just dumped all over the bracket. So we're gonna make sure this is cleaned up at least a little reasonably before we get this sent out to its new owner. Not perfect but uh cleaned up a lot nicer than it was yeah so there's definitely no way in how this is all fitting in one box i got all the hardware in one box though surprisingly this kit doesn't have a whole lot of hardware to it that's just gonna go in there i did pack up one box myself that's with the it's got a cup it's got the intake it's got one charge pipe and then it's also got the bracket and a couple other things packaged packaged in there tightly and then the rest of the kit's all in here. We're gonna have UPS take care of packing all that stuff up. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this before, but this is the OG poster for when the Ford GT first came out. This is one of the posters you got when you bought the car. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to the new owner of my supercharger kit. Obviously without the head unit, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag his Instagram and his YouTube right up here. He's actually got a YouTube channel and looks like he's just starting that. One of the things I regretted most was I didn't film uh, the supercharger install, which always kind of frustrated me. It was a very difficult and frustrating install. There's a lot of little things you run into on these cars and they really, they really don't have a lot of space for the kit. But if you're interested in seeing some of that content, um, I'm sure he's going to post at least some of that. It was S197 underscore Mike for his Instagram, S197 Mike for his YouTube. Make sure to go give him a follow, subscribe to his channel. Real quick too, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this, so uh, let me show ya. If you're familiar with the channel, you would know that I blew up my Pro Charger Supercharger. And I went ahead and just asked for it back because they were gonna need me like 50 bucks for the salvage head unit. So I just went ahead and kept it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I definitely want to make like some kind of like decoration out of it or something like that. I don't know. Um, I got. I should probably talk to like a fabricator or something. Get something made out of that. I don't know. Maybe like a cup holder or something. I'd be interested to hear you guys' suggestions what I should do with that uh, down below if you want to comment that. Okay, quick breakdown so we keep track of the stuff. We got all the intercooler pipes in here. We got our hardware. We got our multiple belts. Um, the spark plugs are in another box. What else? We got the intercooler, obviously. The extra oil. And then we also have an air filter. As well as the second blow-off valve he's getting, too. A lot of f***ing parts. <laughs> Alright, 
All right, boys, so we ran into a problem. Uh, for some reason, this intercooler itself was gonna be 150 bucks to ship on its own. Um, so we're gonna find another way to get this out to my boy in New York. The other bits cost about 250 bucks altogether. That's why I figured it was all gonna be. Um, I don't know why this was so much extra on its own, but we're gonna, we're gonna look for some more solutions to get this intercooler out for him. put the bumper on. Ignore how dirty the engine bay is, but we're gonna go ahead and finish up putting the bumper back on the car here um and then we're having some issues actually um believe it or not with the trans again so basically what's happening is it's not wanting to stay into third gear it's actually up shifting and down shifting on me so when i'm trying to data log and tune the car um the car is just not wanting to stay in gear um it's doing it sometimes as well in reverse gear so i'm going to show you guys real quick how to actually reset the vehicle's computer um, to see if it can relearn to relearn those uh, shift points and everything like that and hopefully that fixes the issue All right, so basically what you're gonna want to do is if you want to reset the computer on your car um, There's about one way to go about it to where you make sure it definitely works Sometimes you just you know unplug the negative battery cable. It's not necessarily the case for these cars So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a jumper cable um, and then you're gonna want to take the negative battery terminal disconnect that and then you're just going to want to leave that um, not anywhere near the terminal i'll show you how i'm going to do that in a second okay so i've disconnected the negative uh or rather the ground here and then we want to make sure that's obviously not touching anything else so i went ahead and put a cloth in between there and then we're going to take our jumper cable this bit we're going to attach that to the ground we're going to take this bit and we're going to attach that to the positive cable there now what this is gonna do is this is gonna get all of the memory out of the car's computer and help it relearn and reset itself. So you're gonna leave this for about five to 10 minutes and then we're gonna come back to it and we'll continue the process from there. All right, so I've reconnected the battery again and now what I've done is I've gone into the vehicle, put the key on the on forward position. We're not gonna start it and we're also not gonna run any AC or any other accessories that take power off the motor. And we're just gonna leave it in accessory mode for about a minute. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna then start the vehicle and we're gonna let it idle um, anywhere from five to 10 minutes before we go and take it for a drive. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start her up. We're gonna let it idle for five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna get out of this garage before I poison myself. <laughs> My garage is gonna smell terrible. All right, so we've taken her for a drive. Uh, she's shifting very good, very confidently, quick shifts. It's holding the gears when it should be too. It's recognizing I'm going up a hill and it's not shifting until I get to the top, which is good because that will hurt your torque converter when you do that. One of the things you don't want to do is when you're teaching the car how to shift again is you don't want to be getting on it. You want to drive it like you normally would around town, kind of like an old man, because uh, otherwise it's just going to learn to shift hard every single time. Come to the stop, shift it down well, idling where it needs to be. Oh yeah, I feel it. I feel it learning. You know, if it wasn't for the heat, this day would be absolutely perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous out. Don't get me wrong though, it's still 110 degrees right now. <laughs> I gotta say, even though the car is not supercharged anymore, it just feels good to drive her. 
and she's running damn good on this Lido tune I have her on it right now too. Just puts a smile on your face. We'll kind of like quarter pedal it right here, so we'll get on it a little bit. right here is my favorite part. I really love chopping through this apartment complex with this car. Because <laughs> anyone who's just strolling around, just instant neck break. It's great. <laughs> well, boys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all of the updates and stuff. I didn't have any concrete idea for this video, so I hope you guys uh, were okay with that much. Um, I'm just happy to be uploading again. I'm happy to have the car running again so make sure you remember to go ahead and hit that like button if you're not subscribed to me already feel free to subscribe to me we'll have a couple more videos dropping very soon we're not going to have another five week break like this one um thank you guys for being patient thank you guys for following up with me but i'm going to go ahead and end the video there peace out